This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, so let's just go through and finish off the chapter uh, with various bits and pieces. Uh, I recommend you go through and read it in detail. Uh, I'd also go through and recommend that you read the study text if you chosen tuition provider. Uh, we're just going to go through and briefly chat our way through them okay uh so remember we're in the world of equity finance uh we've looked in the previous videos haven't we at raising equity finance for quoted companies uh what about equity finance for unquoted companies well it's a little bit more of a challenge isn't it because if you're unquoted the shares are not traded on an active market so one way to go through and ensure that you can raise equity finance is to become quoted okay uh and therefore issue shares on a stock market okay however uh the only issue that you've got there is that your unquoted company needs to be reasonably large okay uh to be able to gain a full listing now in recent history that obviously has been adapted uh in that there are other if you like alternative markets other than the main market so in the uk we have the the FTSE, the financial times stock exchange but also we have a smaller market for, for smaller businesses, uh, which is the alternative investments market or the, the AIM market. And that's to try and encourage businesses who aren't as large as, say, your uh, your BPs, uh, your British Airways or International Airline Group or businesses such as Centrica uh, in terms of gas and electricity uh, to be able to go through and attract outside investment okay so one way for an unquoted company to raise finance via equity is to become quoted but the key bit that you need to be concerned of there is thinking about the size okay uh, if you do decide to, to stay unquoted uh, and you want to go through there and raise equity finance i think it mentions it there uh, you can go through and do that via a right issue uh, but again just be aware be careful uh, if it is unquoted, it could be that it is owned by family members, okay, uh, and therefore you're asking your family uh, to go through there uh, and provide the finance, okay, which might not go through and work. So the, the, the best alternative is looking at a private placing. So don't just assume that unquoted companies are small, okay. Uh, there are a lot of large unquoted companies that are in existence. One of the largest ones, I suppose, and it gets a little bit complicated in terms of how it's stretched up, but simple to think about, the Virgin Group, okay? Uh, the Virgin Group of companies, you've probably heard of Virgin, whether it's uh, Virgin Atlantic, uh, whether it's the Virgin Blue, Virgin Cosmetics, Virgin Gyms, uh, is there an airline now in America, Virgin US? It's endless. Effectively, that's all owned by Richard Branson. Okay, uh, how does he raise finance via equity? Uh, you could ask his family uh, to invest within it because they all own shares in the business. But alternatively, you could use just a private placing. Okay, so going through there, approaching a large investment bank, uh, asking them to go through there and buy the shares, uh, and therefore raising equity finance. Okay. Uh, other bits and pieces, uh, just at the bottom, I'm not too fussed about it effectively. Uh, another way of becoming listed is to do what's referred to there is as a reverse takeover. So whereby there you go through and acquire another entity, okay, and the shares that you go through there and acquire are the shares of a listed entity, okay, uh, and therefore uh you go through there and then become listed bonus issues if we go through and move on to bonus issues a bonus issue is a way of effectively altering the capital structure of your business you know we've seen the the journal entry haven't we way back in the days of was it co2 or ba2 as it's now currently known uh, whereby we credit share capital debit share premium so it's effectively just a uh adjusting the reserves okay uh, utilizing that fairly useless share premium account okay by issuing free share so be careful it's not a source of finance so it doesn't raise cash okay because they are issued for free but it does fall within equity so it does form part of the equity section 
of the syllabus okay uh, and when you go through there and issue the shares usually a bonus issue is done in place of paying a dividend okay so if a business is short of cash and want to continue the shareholders income then we can issue the bonus shares or if you like a, a script issue of shares and then the shareholders have the ability to go through then and sell those additional free shares okay and that will therefore bring in the cash but by issuing the shares what happens there is that there are now more shares in the market and theoretically what should happen is it should reduce the market value per share and if that's the case it therefore makes them a little bit more marketable doesn't it okay uh, just note very similar to a bonus issue is what we refer to as a stock split uh, now a bonus issue is whereby you issue free shares uh, and, and, and you keep the same nominal value of the shares if you like okay a stock split is done whereby you have say two shares worth a hundred dollars uh or sorry one share worth a hundred dollars i should say and then you go through there and take that one share and then give two shares worth fifty dollars each okay so effectively all you do is you just change the par value of those shares okay uh by issuing a stock split okay uh, key bit again uh, the share capital is unchanged so just be aware that we just make a note in terms of the accounting there's no direct double entry debits and credits process with regards to a stock split we just note as a memorandum to the accounts within the bookkeeping system that we have changed the par value from x to y okay so that we know that there are more shares now in issue okay there's no debit entry there is no credit entry okay effectively it is a free issue of share so again it's not a source of finance so it is similar to a bonus issue but the the key difference really is a bonus issue is usually done as regards to a substitute for paying a dividend a stock split is done when it's perceived that the value of a share is getting too high okay if the value of a share is too high it makes it difficult for individual investors to buy that share so some of your very large listed PLCs whose shares prices just continually grow to make it attractive to, to you or I, they will do a stock split. OK, by splitting the stock. So previously having one and now having two. So a two for one stock split uh, means that, again, uh, the market value. Per share will fall per share in total it stays the same okay because previously you had one share worth 100 two now worth 50 it's the same isn't it there's just more shares but those shares are now cheaper so that therefore makes them more liquid and there are also more of them on the market okay and therefore that increases their marketability so you could potentially get a question in terms of the exam and i have no idea whether this is the case or not but trying to identify the main differences between stock splits and bonus issues or what are the similarities the similarities are that they don't raise any finance okay uh the difference i suppose between a bonus and a stock is the reasons why they are done okay the bonus is effectively to go through there and replace a dividend for the shareholders so that they can then sell the extra shares and the stock split is done to reduce the value per share to improve the liquidity and to improve the marketability the other key difference is within the accounting for a bonus issue we are issuing free shares and new shares so therefore we will account for that as crediting share capital debiting share premium but with a stock split we're just swapping one share for two shares with a smaller nominal or par value okay there you go so just be aware of those subtleties uh, that then brings us to the final aspect is it there a script dividend uh, which is effectively the definition or the term given to a bonus issue when it is there replacing a dividend okay you could do a bonus issue for other reasons just to go through there and restructure your share capital and utilize share premium but the main reason that businesses tend to use that bonus issue is for a script dividend okay so what we go through and do there is instead of paying the dividend we offer the shareholder the option of taking a share instead okay it means that we 
as a business do not have to go through there and pay cash so therefore it preserves our business's liquidity and doesn't impact the shareholders wealth uh, when they are not receiving that dividend instead of receiving a cash dividend they are receiving a share instead okay there we go excellent uh, other than that i think that's pretty much it for the chapter if you've got any questions you know where we are we're on the ask the tutor forum Carry on asking them there and I shall see you within the next chapter. Bye for now.